Tonight on Capitol Hill, the head of Instagram grilled about its effects on children, particularly young girls. So what's being done and how soon? Rachel Scott on the Hill tonight. Tonight, the head of Instagram appearing before Congress for the first time, defending the popular social media app from blistering bipartisan criticism that Instagram is toxic for children, especially young girls. How do you square a business model that prioritizes user time and engagement with knowing there's a direct correlation between time and harm? Senator, respectfully, using our platform more will increase any effect, whether it's positive or negative. But if people don't feel good about the time that they spend on our platform, that's something I personally take seriously. Adam Oseri pointing to outside research showing more teens use TikTok and YouTube. And today, introducing a new safety net hours before that hearing, telling lawmakers the company will take more steps to protect children, including prompts to suggest users take a break and other parental controls. But senators say the damage has already been done. Instagram is addictive. Senator, respectfully, I don't believe the research suggests that our products are addictive. Many of those claims directly contradict a whistleblower who came forward weeks ago, accusing the company of choosing profit over safety. And as for those new parental controls, those will not be added to Instagram until March. David? All right, Rachel Scott on the Hill tonight. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.